and welcome back to my channel check this out today is uh, the 24th and I came out here to check out my buddy he gave me a call he landed this and this is my buddy Tim this is the boat he is a true salmon slayer and I'm glad he took every advice from me <laughs> well anyways um, I want to give my buddy uh, K Vang a shout out so shout out to you K this is the type of fish you are getting now here on the Sacramento River and they are nice bright with scales still peeling off of them thank you Tim and your boys for allow for calling me to come out and do a video on this fish it is gorgeous and you guys have a great weekend let's head on back local angler here goes by the name of Jeff he just hooked up this morning before I walked up here and Jeff I would like you to uh, go ahead and give the viewers at home a report any fishes were caught this morning and did you even hook up today? I did hook up, lost one, and there were about five fish caught, yeah. Five fish caught and... Yep, that we could see from right here. Y did you see the fish that you hooked up? After he broke off, yeah. Wow, man. And, yeah, you, and you caught him He caught took him the here? lure. Over the ledge. Right over the ledge. From shore. From shore, and you hooked up. Well guys, Jeff here has, is a long time angler here. The story that he just told me before I got him on camera is that the fish came well in out of the water, shot straight down the buoys, right at the mouth and got caught up and he lost the fish. So anyways guys, I wanna thank Jeff here for giving me an update also to share with you guys. So packed out here at the mouth of the American River and Discovery Park. I didn't make it out today because, as usual, I slept in late. But I just wanted to come out here to show you guys. People are catching salmon right around this hole here. And a lot of them are anchored up on a uh, quick fish, uh, flat fish wrapped with sardine or whatever your recipe is. And I seen a couple of boats trolling also. But, um... I just want to let you guys know that this hole here it has been producing a lot of nice salmon and my buddy Al, Al's neighborhood he calls it, he landed a uh, nice chrome salmon early in the morning uh, before he went out to work Friday. Yeah folks, salmon fishing has been looking really good here. Let me show you guys some footage on all the salmon anglers. So check this out folks. here at the mouth of American and Discovery Park giving you guys a fresh report on salmon fishing and like I said it is packed out here we got a kayaker jigging working the mouth of the American we got a couple other guys jigging and we got a couple other guys uh, trolling out here so um, it seems like the salmon fishing here uh, has been really good compared to uh, up north so let's go guys let's head back to the house and cool down so I can show you guys how to set up your gear folks let's go hey everybody we are back at home now as you can see of course uh, back on the boat on land <laughs> well, anyway guys um, if you made it this far in the video thank you very much and if you're new you want to stay um, all the way to the end because I am going to show you how to rig up your flat fish when you're anchored up whether you're on a kayak or on a boat and um, by doing this you will have a 
high chance of hooking up your salmon, a nice bright salmon, just like my buddy Tim and um, Al. So let's get on with it. But before that, let me give you guys a quick rundown on what's really going on on the Sacramento River. In case you guys don't know or you guys are new, it is salmon season here on the Sacramento River and um, it's been pretty good. Pretty good ever since uh, opening week last week. So um, the honest truth is every day there's a few fish coming out. Just that hole right there is a lot of the reports are coming from right there. Um, I have a lot of buddies that fish there as you can see. So yeah, on the along the stretch on the mouth of the American River and Discovery Park right there, um, a lot of people are anchor up right there and also kayakers and you got a lot of you guys that's out there on boats um, jigging for them so um, I just wanted to say if you guys are new at this stuff drifting and jigging and you guys don't really know what you're doing please be careful we got kayakers out here anchored up using flat fishes and other boaters that they're anchored up and when you got a fish on um, you guys might be drifting down into them. Um, just respect everybody when you got a fish on. Um, have a captain or somebody that knows what they're doing and you're not just drifting in, into everybody's boat. Okay, so um, I just wanted to share that with you guys and um, just wanted everybody to be safe out there because I know it can get pretty hectic out, at, um, out on the salmon grounds everywhere. Be careful out there guys, it's going to be a great year seems like, so uh, and be safe, be respectful. So yeah, on with the report. Like I said, there's a few fish coming out every day along that hole right there, along that seam. And the reason why is the water there is a little bit colder, it's a little bit clearer, and a lot of the fish, once they um, hit that cold water, they're slowing down right there and making that curve up into the American River. So you're seeing about one or about uh, two to three fish coming out of that hole uh, per day. So it doesn't matter what time of the day it is. I've caught them in the afternoon, the hottest time of the day. I've seen them. I've seen them early morning, right before evening. Um, time doesn't matter, but um, it's ideal because it's really hot now. So yeah, guys, that's the fishing report. From me to you guys, Connected Fishing for this weekend. And now, let me show you guys how to hook up your um, flat fishes on anchor so you can get out there and catch your first salmon. Like I said, if you're new to my channel, stick around and I, um, I will assure you, you will up your chances to catch more salmon. So yeah, let me show you guys how to set up your gear, your flat fish, when you're on your kayak or your boat anchored up to catch these um, big old king salmon that's coming by. So yeah, let's get started guys. Uh, what I have here is a spreader. One of these spreaders right here. You can find them at your local base store. And I put a bead here also. Um, it's to collect all the uh, debris on there when it's down there. So it's gonna look like that. You're gonna have a short end and you're gonna have a longer end. So the shorter end, you're going to want to attach a smaller line to it in case you get into a snag or something when you cast it down there. So what I like to use is anywhere from an 8 pound test line to a 10 pound uh, test line. And I have it about 18 inches right here, sometimes up to 21 inches, you know, a little bit longer, um, depending where I'm fishing and how the water flow is. So on the short end, guys, you want to pull a 18 inch or 21 inch uh, drop weight line here uh, dropper weight line here and then this is where you want to put your sinker and for as far as the sinker part out here I use a size 4 um, it doesn't matter if you're using a cannonball or a torpedo weight so it's gonna be just like this bam you got your weight here you got your spreader, you got your weight here. And then on the longer end here is where you want to attach your lure to, your flat fish. And for this one, you want to use a heavier line. I use a 30 pound test mono line. And 
I use about, this looks like a three and a half, four feet long. So let me show you guys here. Oh yeah, um, before you guys uh, put on your lures, um, here's another tip that I want to give you guys. Um, bring a small bucket if you've already prepped your uh, lures at home. The reason why I say bring a small bucket, have all your lures sitting out there. Um, you can drizzle your um, bloody tuna scent, your garlic scent, um, your anchovy scent, whatever scent you want to put on there. Um, you can have it soaking in this bucket here, just like that. You know, all oozing in there. So when you put it on your uh, fishing pole and you're having it out there, you got all that scent lingering out so the salmon can hone in on that um, scent that you got on there and grab your flat fish. So yep guys, um, if you can, have all your flat fish prepared and put all your sauce on there. Leave it on your boat or in front of your kayak. I like to switch it out every 30, 40 minutes and um, just making sure they're working right. So yep guys, it's just one of my tips on how to get everything uh, in the water and always in the water. So instead of spending time out there cutting your bay and all that, um, I already got them all um, sauced up in here waiting to be put in the water so a salmon can hone in the um, scent and come and take my lure so yep right there so yeah guys that's another tip for you guys right there do this and I'll show you guys you guys will have a lot more time fishing and a higher chance of catching your first salmon instead of spending time um, baiting it up so yep folks um, now on with the um, leader line and the flatfish let me show you guys here so now you got your uh, flatfish tied up, right? You got your um, sardine wrapped and whatever scent you had drizzling in that bucket. So now it's going to look like this. You're going to have your spreader, the shorter end with the dropper weight. And on the longer end of the spreader, you're going to have your leader line about three and a half, four feet long. Um, what you want to do is uh, make sure it's swimming correctly, um, digging down uh, before you drop it all the way down. You, you might want to pull on your rod to see if it's swimming correctly. And if not, go ahead and adjust the eye right here. So really small turns and if you adjust the eye right here, I don't know if you guys can see that, adjust the eye there. If you turn right, it'll uh, swim more to the left. If you turn left, it'll swim more to the right. So make sure your lure is swimming um, just like that in the middle and not moving to the right or the left or spinning. So, yep guys, that's all you guys need to do to catch your first salmon. And before I finish this quick video, I also wanted to give you guys uh, another tip on these flat fishes. So, yep guys, check this out. This is what you want to do to them. Uh, it works really well for me. I add a barrel swivel and another ring just like that. You see that? Because uh, a lot of times for me, you know, um, from my experience, when I get them to the boat and they start thrashing, they start spinning their head and it, it locks up right there. So they can bend and turn their head the other way and uh, basically uh, pry their mouth off and that's how a lot of people lose fish right up to the boat. As for um, by having this um, set up here with the extra barrel swivel and the extra split ring here they can twist all they want and like I said with this set up here I was um, able to land a lot more uh, fishes so if you guys um, want to try this method out go ahead and do so um, on your kayak or on your boat works really great and yeah that's about it guys um, don't forget your flat fish in the bucket have it all prepped up and sauced up and um, change out your um, hooks if you want to better hooks or you can always just do that there like me or you can just um, go out there 
just the way it is. I've caught fish like this, but like I said, I've also lost uh, quite a few um, just keeping it like this. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little session on salmon fishing and salmon talk and everything salmon, guys. Once again, thank you for tuning in. Have a great night and peace out, guys. <laughs>